Sorry. Real quick, what the fuck is that beeping noise? I'm, I'm, sure, I'm starting to record, okay, but I don't know why it's not recording. Okay. So I want to kick off our discussion with Connor. I'll throw it out to you first. A brief outline of what you would like to see happen in season eight versus what you think will happen in season eight. That's so tough because, like, with the show, you know that something crazy is going to happen and you expect a crazy twist. But I would really love to see those main characters survive, as in, like, Jamie, uh, John, uh, Arya, Sansa, Daenerys. Like, I want to see them still rule and still be, like, the main characters of the show. Unfortunately, I don't see many of them surviving. So, yeah, that's that's going to be tough. But I, w- I think I would love to see, like, the whole Seven Kingdoms split up and uh, everybody kind of ruling their own part. You know, okay. so. so to have the wheel be broken as yeah, you said. exactly okay. yes Derek and want to hop in there I'd like to see some people die <laughs> <laughs> anyone who's watched Game of Thrones seasons 1 through 7 has seen a lot of people die uh, we've had multiple conversations before in the past and one of my favorite episodes is the Red Wedding <clears throat> um, so I'd love to see similar things happen in the Battle of Winterfell I think there's a lot of characters that uh, don't necessarily need to play a huge part in the conclusion of the story. A Sansa Stark, <laughs> I hold no love for her. <laughs> she hasn't done a thing by herself, really. The only important thing that she's ever really done is manipulate Littlefinger for five minutes to get him to show up somewhere. So you stole my answer because Tyrion, like I said, like he's had such an incredible arc. Like he was, like Connor just said, he's been so important in so many interactions but one i'll go with something else um i really liked watching joffrey transition into becoming the king i know he died fairly early in the show and it was like many years ago but the actor played the role so well he was so well written like i just really enjoyed watching him do but this is gonna sound kind of messed up, but <laughs> I just like really, I really enjoyed watching them push the envelope with him. Just when you thought he's he did something like crazy, he did something worse, mm-hmm. and it all kind of came to a peak right before he died, mm-hmm. because like that what he was doing to Tyrion there was reprehensible, and everyone who was there knew it but couldn't say anything yeah. about it. But I just liked how he kind of like at the beginning he was just like a little shit. And then he actually became like a nightmare for people. Phenomenal acting by Jack Gleason. Yeah. Shout out to the homie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be kind of like a like a sad moment knowing that that dragon's kind of like alive and fighting against you now. So especially for Daenerys, she's right? just gonna hear that screech there. And yeah, they're gonna and, yeah they're gonna have that brutal. bad phase for yeah. sure. Um, but I feel like it's gonna start with a lot of chaos. And then theme song, and then kind of what you were saying, riding down on the boat mm-hmm. or riding down King's Road, like we've kind of seen in the trailers and the previews and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then uh, showing up at Winterfell. Oh, hey, John. Hey, Arya. Yeah. So and pick up right deal. where season I, seven I think it's picking off. up literally right where it left off. Right. Yeah, just with chaos. It's hard to say, really, like, because it could go either way. And you know, regardless of how they're doing it, episode one's going to be fire. Oh, yeah. Literally. So, it's hard to predict. What I would like to see is I'd like to see, like, the chaotic opening. But then ease into, like, a slower-paced ending for the first episode to kind of set up. Like, I want to have an idea of where the season's going to go for the first part. Because I think that, because there's six episodes, they're probably going to divide half of that for one fight. The living versus the dead. And then the throne. Mm -hmm. Which, obviously, the... The throne's going to come last. It's the Game of Thrones, not the Game of the Living versus the Dead, right? So, I think that they're going to end with the throne. I feel like they're not going to actually, like, kill the White Walkers, because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. They're not going to, like, completely eliminate them from the equation. I feel like they might, like, kind of maybe force them to, like, retreat. Because if the Night King is, like, standing there, one guy left, like, he's not just going to die. Like, do you know what I mean? No, I, I feel like they're not ending that storyline right there. They're oh. leaving it open to future okay. endeavors. But in Game of Thrones, oh, they're going to win that battle, then they're going to retreat, like, lick their wounds kind of a little bit just to leave the door open for future wars. 
with the dead. Yeah, because it's happened before where they came and they pushed them back. They didn't go over the wall, but right. they still pushed them back. They still retreated. They didn't kill them then and there. Which so, we're going to see in a spin-off series eventually. Let's go.